In One Piece Manga Chapter 842, we were introduced to Luffy's new form or new version of Gear Force, Tank Man. Now, Gear Force, unlike the other Gears, had names. Because we had Gear Force Bounced Man, that indicates it's like a virgin. A virgin. <laughs> the first time I ever heard the theory that Gear Force had multiple virgins was One World AC. Now, someone may have come up with it before him, but that was the first time I ever heard it. Now, that's what a lot of people in the fandom have been believing. That Luffy had another version of Gear Force. Instead of a Gear Fist, a lot of people were saying it was a Gear something else. A Gear Force something. We got that this chapter. The latest chapter with Gear, uh, Gear Force Tank Command. But the problem is that Luffy waited 11 hours. You see, if Luffy fight with Cracker wasn't 11 hours, this would be a completely different situation. Sorry, I'm trying to set the lighting. No, but his fight with Cracker was 11 hours. That's what you guys need to understand. His fight with Cracker was 11 hours, so he would have used it way earlier. Like, Luffy was not just waiting to use this. So what concerns me is that Luffy can only use this form because he's so filled with food. Meaning this is probably a one-off version of Gear 4. However, I have the resort to that, a retort to that at least, that will give my reasoning for thinking Gear Force Tank Man is something Luffy can use whenever he so desires. Let's talk about it. So my idea here is first of all that Luffy clearly needed a power up. Cracker was one of the division commanders of the Big Mom Pirate. Well, well, or in this case, the Sweet Commander. But she was, he was one of the best people she had. Like, one of the four strongest, I would think. And, and that sounded, there's like, he was like, what, the third or fourth strongest? And then your big mom herself. And we've seen that the gap between the commanders and the Yogo is normally big. Look at Whitebeard. Marco was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kizaru, yeah. But Whitebeard at his best was able to level Marine forward. So that leads me to believe that the power gap between the division commanders and the Yogo is big. Indicating Luffy needs a power up. So I honestly think that this was just the best way to reveal it. And it probably was. I feel like there's a situation where it's not that Odo wanted Luffy to make Luffy not use it right away. It was that this makes it a big deal. Like this means the form has a drawback. A drawback bigger than the regular Gear Force. At least that's what I think. There is no reason for Oda to introduce this power up and not let Luffy use it whenever whenever he needs to. When Luffy is in such need for a power up. There's no way to introduce a one off power up when Luffy needs one so badly. If you're gonna give him a power up, I see Oda sticking to that power up. Now, the way I think this works is I don't think the reason he didn't use it was because of the food. I think the way the reason he didn't use it. But because he, because the drawback is so big, I feel like there's something major. Like I think maybe it's not, maybe it's like, maybe it's like a much worse version of what happened with Gear Four. Like maybe he loses his hockey for like an hour. In the manga, he in the manga, in the anime, it's ten minutes. What if he lost his hockey and his ability to move for like an hour? And also, this is, this is not like Dressrosa. Where he had people like, where he had all these strong people around him that could, like, worst case scenario in Dress Rose, this thing got bad enough. Let's be honest, Sabo could have easily defeated everybody. When Tai Fuji Tora, Sabo could have destroyed everybody and just come running and saved Luffy's ass. But that's the point. Luffy was safe in Dress Rosa. If Luffy knew Tank Man now and it failed, what, Nami gonna stop Cracker? No. No one can stop Cracker. Cracker the god. Nobody can stop him. They all die. Luffy's stupid, but he knows he's the only person here who can fight Cracker, and if he loses, Nami's gonna die. Okay, he knows that. So I don't, I think that would be the reason he didn't use it right off the bat. He didn't want to risk Gear Force Tank Man not working and get everybody else killed. At least that's my theory on it. I'm hoping, because honestly, it looks 
It looks like a form that would be really, really cool. If he wasn't so fat. Like, it looks like the actual design of Tank Man would be badass as hell. So I'm really excited for it. But yeah, tell me your thoughts on why Luffy waited until the end of the fight to use it. Was it because he needed to eat that much food to use it? Do you think it's a one-off power-up? Like, what are your thoughts on this? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have an amazing day. It's like One Piece Nation, signing out. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I will also be getting a better webcam soon. So, that should be fun.